What is up, Rad Potential YouTube? Welcome to today's video. This is going to be a super cool video because we have a super cool car on the channel. It, uh, it rhymes with RX-7 and it's not a first gen and it's not an FC and I'm gonna go get it and we're gonna bring it in here and you guys are gonna check it out. So let's go get this thing. Now it's super foggy outside so I'm gonna make you guys like sit there on the bench for just a second. We'll get this thing fired up. And the suspense is going to kill you guys because this thing just waiting to drive in the door. How about that? It started. Oh, man. <laughs> I will show you how the windows roll up, you know, here in a second. All right, guys. This is the project. Check it out. So if you're new to the channel, you've never seen this car before. If you've been on the channel before, you've seen this car before. I guess it's not really if you've been on the channel before, but if you've been around a while. So, this is not mine, but it's at the Rad Ranch, and we gotta fix it. A 1992 Mazda RX-7 FD. You saw the side that I got out of the car on. It is right-hand drive. And about a year ago, I put this engine in, Cleaned up the engine bay, which it's still clean. I promise we'll clean it back up. And it's a half bridge port, big single turbo. Uh, it's on a power FC, which is not ideal. Um, and it's my buddy Richard's car. And he broke it, as you could hear. Doesn't exactly like to start. It's missing really bad. And it's just not happy. So we've got to dive into that. I'm going to get the compression tester out. We're going to compression test this thing and hopefully see what's wrong with it. Um, really, the only thing that's changed since I put the car together for him um, and broke the engine in and everything is he's got a different hood on here now instead of the black one. This is from his blue car, I think. And something has happened with the, I don't know, he said it's the alarm system or something. But check this out. I've never seen a car that does this. So I'll set you guys down. I need two hands to operate some things. So key on, right? Hear the beeps. Now watch the windows. Apparently, the alarm system controls the windows in an FD. Look at this. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, it's all the way up. Going down, same thing. It just clicks on and off. So, that was an interesting thing. Let's get this compression tester on the car. Let's figure out what's going on. And uh, really, I hope that it's not a hurt engine. This car has a half bridge port engine. It's got Chips Motorsports uh, balanced and lightened rotating assembly. It's got iRotary Apex seals in it. Um, I think it has OEM corner seals and it's all brand new stuff. It literally only has about 4,000 miles on it. Now, it is tuned on pump gas with stock ignition coils on a power FC, and it's a single turbo, and I think it's making about 15 or 16 pounds of boost, which is a lot of boost for stock coils, pump gas, and I really, I mean, I didn't tune it, so I don't know exactly what the power FC is doing, but it's still, you know, stock front crank trigger and it has an excessive lower intake manifold where there's four injectors all up in the in the top and there's no injectors in the center iron. So it was kind of weird when I put it together the first time, but uh, of course it's back. Richard does drive the crap out of his cars and that's, you know, 
one of the things I like about it is that he actually uses them. Doesn't just sit, let them sit around. Um, but when you drive the heck out of them and you use them, stuff breaks. So let's dive into it. Oh, man. Remind me, guys, why I don't work on newer RX-7s and I dislike working on RX-8s. The spark plugs are in there. Like, in there. Down in the hole. The hole where you can't see anything. Down there. I'm not stoked for that. Maybe we do it from the bottom. I can probably reach them from the bottom easier. Let's do that. I love working on FDs. FDs nuts. I will say, guys, go watch things you need to know before you spend 40 grand on an FD. That's where this car is featured in. Go check that video out. And you'll know my opinion on FDs. Yup, this is the move, guys. Man, this thing didn't leak any oil when I put it together. Now it's leaking oil. Means it's not happy. Buy an FD, they said. It'll be fun, they said. So here, here's a philosophy for you guys. Comment below your thoughts. This is, this is my RX-7 philosophy, okay? Not rotary philosophy. RX-7s, the chassis of RX-7s. So, you buy a first-gen RX-7 to make it a race car. Super light, super simple, real little, really fun to drive, push the limits, make it make some horsepower, put some big tires and flares on it. You buy an FC RX-7 to have a nice, comfortable street car. So, 400 horsepower, Nice, comfortable street car. You buy an FD RX-7 just to look at them. Because if you try to drive an FD, they break. And when FDs break, it's super expensive. And nobody likes spending tons of money. Well, everyone likes spending tons of money until it's your own, but you just park it in a bubble and let it be worth a lot of money and never drive it. Because they break all the time. That's my FD philosophy. Somebody comment below and prove me wrong. But uh, heck, right now, it's almost the FC philosophy. If you got a nice FC, you can't find nice FCs anymore, which kind of sucks. We're hooked up. Um, EGI fuse is pulled. It shouldn't do anything weird. We're in neutral. What do we got? Oh, 71, 73, 64. Not exactly ideal, but consistent numbers, no dead hole. But not ideal. Do it again. Sixty-four, sixty-eight, sixty-eight, sixty-seven, sixty-two, seventy-two, 62, 72, or 72, 72. Not bad, but not good. Let's go to the other one. I'm not going to film me under the car fighting the sensor. We're just going to cut to right here. Rear rotor. We're back. Rear rotor. Oh, I took the key out of the hole. The moment of truth. Here we go. Is this engine toast or not? Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, guess what, guys? Ready for these numbers? You're not going to be happy. 54, 53, 20. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, 
consistency is good. 55, 56, 22. <laughs> oh, come on. 20, 54, 54. Guys, we got a hurt engine. <laughs> okay, I guess turn the key off, let the beef stop. What does this tell us, guys? We build rotary engines on this channel. We know what's going on. If you've only lost one face of compression, let's go look at an actual rotor. And I'll explain this to you, because this is important. This is your learning right here, okay, guys? You're learning. Oh, this is heavy. Good thing we've been working out. Okay, on a rotary engine, this is your combustion chamber, right? How many places seal the combustion chamber? You have an apex seal, corner seal, corner seal, side seal, apex seal. On this side, side seal, corner seal, corner seal. If we've broken an apex seal, how many combustion chambers can leak? That's two. This combustion chamber can leak air, can leak air past it this way, and this combustion chamber can leak air past it that way. Which means when you compression test the engine, you'll have two dead faces. In order to just have one dead face, most likely we have a corner seal failure, a side seal failure, another side seal on the other side failure, one of these corner seals. So we have a side rotor issue now, not just an apex seal. Rarely would you see an apex seal crack or broken or whatever, only leave one face dead. So we're, we're chasing something on the side. What does that mean for this car? Well, that means that I get to fix oil leaks because the engine's coming back out. And that means it's not gonna leak oil when it goes back in there because this engine's gotta come out, we gotta pull it all apart, and we gotta figure out what's going on. And, uh, and who's excited for that? Not me. <laughs> um, so if it would have just been, you know, like a compression was good, then we'd have probably done more in this video because I don't want to take the turbo off and look in the engine, make sure the apex seals were okay. My guess, guys, I, I was initially thinking that it had two dead faces and uh, maybe it had detonated and, and done whatever. Um, we kind of, Richard runs this car really rich. Uh-huh. Um, and his thing is he'd rather put spark plugs in it than fix the engine. So I was kind of, didn't really think that detonation in the tune was the thing, but he's also pretty aggressive on this thing for pump gas. Um, and it's not on E85 or anything like that. So, you know, close to 20 pounds of boost, stock ignition coils too. Um, it's just not quite the jam, but, uh, I guess we're yanking this thing apart. So I'm going to get in touch with Richard and I'm going to get this thing apart in the next video. And I'm amped, if you guys are amped, to work on this FD. So comment below any questions you have about these FD RX-7s, any questions you have about single turbo setups, things to look for, things to do, whatever. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and if you are curious, go back on the channel and look at when I put this car together, um, I repainted part of the bay, cleaned everything up really nice, cleaned up some wiring and, and cleaned it up. Obviously, he drives it, so it got dirty. Um, and vented hood is just not the best way to keep your engine bay clean. But uh, go check out the old videos on it. I think uh, you'll definitely enjoy them and uh, get to see a little more of the history of this car. And then, I guess, subscribe and check out the video tomorrow of, uh, well, I guess I probably won't get this engine out in one day, but subscribe and check out the next video on the FD where we uh, get this thing apart and we look inside this engine and figure out what broke because I'm curious and this car needs to be done before deals gap. So let's get to it. Keep it rad guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for all the support this past month, past everything. And uh, tell your friends about the channel guys. If you wanna learn more about rotary stuff, Go check out the other videos. If you have questions about rotary stuff, comment below. I can try to help you out with finding a video I've already done or potentially making a new video. And if you have super in-depth questions where you really want an answer from me for sure, hit up the Patreon, because those are places where I'll make you a video to answer your question. Um, it'd be good to go. But thank you guys again very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Keep it rad.
So, remember how I said the RX-8 was just a track car? I got insurance and I'm getting a tag for it so I can drive it on the road to a deal's gap. Get stoked. <laughs> Buddy! I may even put the air conditioning belt back on. Actually, I know I'm going to put the AC belt back on. <laughs> there she is. All right. Our FDRX7. Hey, come here, come here, come here. I got a question for you. We're going to start doing questions at the end of the video. No, 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 you can't jump yet. All right. Hey, look at me. Buddy. Buddy. Hey, our FDRX7 is the best RX7. Jump if yes. Even the dog knows. <laughs> Peace, guys.